Hello and welcome to this session. In this session, we are going to start with SOAP API testing in Excel queue. So I will go very basic step by step and we will learn how to add SOAP API request in Excel queue, how to add the verifications, how to run our and test our requests and then how to change the request and response. So let's get started and I will go to my Excel queue on my browser. I have logged into my account here. We have already seen REST API in the earlier sessions. Uh, let me go and get some sample soap web service so i'm getting an online sample soap web service and we have a calculator web service here let me take this one and if i go here you can use any of your existing uh, soap web services or you can also use the same example so here we have a service description so i have to get a vistel or wstl so i will copy this wstl url from here and now i will create a context i will create a new context and i will click on plus here you can also go to this plus button and create a new context and for apis i will select library context and i will say this is soap api context and description and text are optional i will save and continue and now i have to create a action so i will go to actions and create a new action and here i will say test soap api you can give any name here and description will be optional uh, the context is already selected and then i will say save and continue so here now i can start creating the statements in the action so as of now we have done step number one create a new context and it should be library context for apis then create action and then step number three will be i will select from api drop down and i will select soap so here we have a api drop down so go here and select soap so this will open a this window where we can uh, select a WSTL so you can either give a URL path for your WSTL you can if you have uh, saved it as a file on your system you can browse it and even if you do not have a WSTL uh, you can click on next and you can provide other informations manually in my case I am going to use this WSTL that we have here for the calculator web service I will paste it here and say next and now here I will get all the methods available in this web service. If you go here, you can see we have this calculator web service where we have all these operations add, divide, multiply, subtract. So I will say I will go to add and now if you have any headers, you can add the headers. In this case, I do not need any headers. Even if you have any authorization, you can go and add them to the headers section. I will go next and here you can see I have got this request body so it has taken the request body from the wstl and i'm getting this in a raw xml format and i'm also getting a outline view so i can just go here and add two numbers for example i can say here three you can also parameterize it so you can get it from an action parameter or global property for example here as of now i'm just using a literal here three and here i'm using so i will say four here and that's it now i can run this so you can also get your xml from a file we have options here i will now send the request and you can see we have got the response this is the status of the response i will add the verification for this i will say save we have headers so these are the response headers that we have got from the server you can again add verification for these headers and you can also add new headers for verification if i go to the response this is our response i can expand everything and now this is the add result so i will add a verification for this for this add result and i will say this is i can say numeric or let me just keep text based and i will say this equals to seven and save this so i have got this you can do filtration from here for example if i just want to go to the add result parameter or node i can directly go from here 
and you can view only verifications or view in a collapsed or expanded form and you can also reset the verifications and we can also save our response or load a new response from here so all this is done and if you see if i go and click on any of the node or any of the values let me go and expand everything so if i click on any of the node or values i am getting a x path here and a option to copy the x path this we can use when we want to extract any value or do any verifications or store the value in any parameter for later use like for chaining i will show you this later so you can do that for now i will save this and here we have got two statements in our action the first one is to invoke the api and the second one is for verifications and here i can go to the headers directly from here and here the difference is add and this is the response verifications i can again go directly to the verifications from this link so this was step number four where we have added add request details like the body uh, headers then step number five will be send the request we have done that as well step number six was we have check response and add verifications and we have done that as well now step number seven will be run and test so if you go here we have a option to test the action from here i can click on test and i will select the agent i have a local agent running so i will select that it is as of now scheduled the setup is running now and i can expand this to see more details and see we should have a response here so you can see here we have got a response and everything is fine i can also export it as a pdf and we can see the details here so we can see the summary the total test cases passed failed and more details about our test here so here i our apis are running fine i will close this report and now let us say i want to extract some particular value from this response i will click on the response and let us say i want to extract this value 7 i will click here and this is the x path i will copy the x path from here and go to my action and here i will say get node and i have a option of getting node from a soap response so i will select this statement and here i will provide my x path and then here i have to provide the reference name which is add in this case so you can see in our first api call the reference name was add i'm going to use the same thing here i will say this is add and hit enter and now i'm also going to capture this into a action output so i will say this is new action output and i will say this is add result and save it if i go to the parameter section here and go to the outputs you can see this add result is here just to verify that i have got a correct value in the add result parameter i can say verify text there is a command or statement for verify text matches i can use this and here i will say verify i will use the parameter add result and here i will say it should contain seven and then i will just say verifying add result that's it if i now test this and check i will run this and if i go to my agent command line it is doing the compilation let me also add the steps here step number eight will be store a value in a parameter and check the output and let me go back and see so it is completed and you can also see it is successfully verifying that the value in that parameter is 7 so now what i can do is let me uh, create a new request and i will show you how to do the chaining so i will close this result and i will go back to my action and i will add another soap api request and this time i am going to add multiply request so let us say 
so here I have to give the Vistal URL so I will again copy the WSTL URL and provide it here and say next and here I will say the method name is multiply and go to next and I will so this is the raw XML this is the outline I will say expand all and here let us say I want to do a multiplication of 3 and here instead of doing instead of adding a hard-coded value I'm going to get it from my action parameter and I'm going to get the result of the earlier request that was the addition request so we know because we have added 4 and 3 in the earlier request the result is 7 so it should be 7 here so 7 multiplied by 3 should be 21 so I will say send request and because we are referring a parameter I will have to manually give the value here just for testing and I will say send request and here if I expand everything you can see we are getting the multiplication result so here uh, if I see this this is not fine this should be different let me check if I go back and if I go back so this is first integer this is the second integer or let me just add the parameter at both places and I will say send request and here I will say 7 and 7 and send request and I will say expand all so in this case I am getting this fine so there may be some issue with the implementation of the API that is fine for now I will just go to the status and add a verification for the status code that is 200 and I will go to the response and I will add a verification for this response which is 49 so I will say save and I will save this and now I will just run test and check if I am getting everything correctly I will run this and I will check the response so the setup is in progress I can see more details here and now it is in progress our test is in progress now and we have got the results and you can see everything is successful everything is fine and here we are able to run the requests and I can close the report now and now we can also add this to a scenario like we have seen in the rest API example so I will say step number nine is add to a scenario and run as required so now you can run your soap apis as you need so this was an example on how to test soap apis in xlq i hope this was very useful for you thank you for watching